Obrigado. Very happy to see you in Brazil. It has been a long time since I've been here, and yet Brazil has been a great supporter of Wolverine and X-Men, so I will, uh, it was very important to me and my team, and thank you to Patricia and the team of Fox, uh, but we really wanted to come here to Brazil to say thank you and to show you this film. Sorry, to your question there, Eric. Um, when I first heard about this, and I did an audition, they were doing a worldwide search um, for all the characters, I believe. I had never heard of X-Men. There was a, a, a rock band in Sydney called the Uncanny X-Men. And I was like, they want me to play Brian Mannix, the lead singer of ours. I was like, what are they Hollywood doing making a movie with this Sydney band? Um, I learned the three pages. I ran those pages with my wife, who's an actress. She's reading uh, Wolverine senses danger, his nostrils flare and snicked. S-N-I-K-T, claws come out of his hands. She's like, you, this is ridiculous. You can't do this. You know? <laughs> You're at the Royal National Theatre, you know, with you being directed by Sir Trevor Nunn. You can't have claws coming out of your hands. I said, ah, you know, I'll have a go. You know how bad it'll be. Here we are, 17 years later. That's the only time my wife has ever been wrong, by the way. And don't tell her I said that, please. <laughs> uh, but I had no idea. When we made the film, there was no comic book genre. Uh, I think you could argue that maybe X-Men was the beginning of, of comic book movies. Uh, Kevin Feige, who now runs Marvel Studios, was the assistant to the producer. He, the first, my first night in uh, Toronto, Kevin took me out for dinner, and, uh, it, it, he was a lovely guy, it was just this, so it was all very, very, very new. No one understood, nobody knew how big it would be, and I, I was the last person who thought it would be 17 years. Nesses 17 years, 